We welcome you to our state baseball Saturday finals where we crown state champions from around the area. We start with Division 4, Fort Lormie and Hicksville going toe to toe for the state crown. Redskin fans fired up to start this one. Pick up action in the second. Hicksville's Parker Teal gets the strikeout and in the inning we're scoreless. Top three now. Runner on third, the aces Zach Brickle. Sack fly. That means Teal can come on in and score the game's first run. Brickle, the big game in the semifinals. Bottom three now, Lormy's Ben Barhorse bunting or trying to. Teal nabs it and makes the play at second. Heads up defensive play. Top four now, runner at third, Jonah Gipple hits the ground ball. That brings Braden Langham in. It's two to nothing. Aces in front. Later, Gipple scores on a wild pitch in Hicksville. Looking good, three to nothing. Aces out into their lead. Jake Greer picks up the RBI right here. Bottom five, though, Lormy on the comeback trail. Austin Siegel leads off with the base hit. Then it's Carter Mesher getting one to drop into right field, putting the Redskins on the board as Siegel scores. Bases loaded now. Dylan Albers drills it to the center field wall. That brings all the runners in. And just like that, we are tied at four apiece. Fort Lormie's not done. C.J. Billing, RBI, brings in Albers, and it's 5-4. The Fort with his first lead of the ball game. Redskins still batting. Eli Rosengarten brings in two more runs on the rip. And then Fort Lormie bringing the heat in the fifth again with Austin Siegel. He started it all. He picks up another RBI. Eight to four. Fort Lormie with eight unanswered runs. Hicksville would finally get out of the inning, but we skip ahead to the top of the seventh. Aces final chance, but Lormie's Nathan Ratterman gets the first out right here, striking out the batter. And with a runner on first, Ratterman fields the grounder, goes to second for one, on to two, double play, gives Fort Lormie the state baseball championship, eight to four. Well, uh, you know, we went through a rough stretch there early in the season, and sure, we had some things we had to work on and fix. Um, but, you know, these, these guys have been working since October and November, taking thousands and thousands of swings. Uh, they're working on their own. They're throwing on their own in the gym. Um, everything they've got, uh, everything, they've, everything they got, they deserve. I mean, they work so hard. Uh, all I do is push buttons and, you know, let them do their job, and they did. Well, after we lost three in a row, we sort of had uh, – had some had some long talks and some long sprints in the outfield, and uh, we we kind of decided that enough was enough. We weren't going to play that way anymore. We worked a little bit harder. Uh, we, we fixed things we should have been doing right, and uh, uh, from that point on, we uh, played a double header at our place, um, and we beat two really good teams, and our bats were just alive. And uh, from that point on, I think we just figured out that we 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 had fixed what we needed to fix, and we were ready to roll, and we did. Well, it's not anything different than we've been doing the whole tournament run. Uh, we just get we get in a groove. Our pitcher, our hitters make adjustments uh, to what we're seeing. We have great uh, approach to our bats. We put good swings on the ball, and, and good things happen. Uh, we just knew if we kept having good at bats and hitting our pitch, then good things would happen. And sure enough, it did. We just knew that, or we were telling ourselves that we had to keep hitting, keep putting the ball in play, and just stay with it. Don't give up. And we've come back from the last four games, so it's not a new position for us. We knew if we kept battling, we'd pull, up, pull out with it. It felt good off the bat. I wasn't sure if he was going to catch it or not, but once I saw him start backpedaling, I knew I had it. Well, you just start off the inning. You have to get something started, base hits, hit it into the gaps. And the second time, just do your job. Hit the guy home with one out. That's all it's to it. Can't stop smiling. It's one of the better feelings that I've ever had. Yeah, Coach told me to do what I do best and just show throw, just throw strikes. And uh, I went with that, and once I was doing it, I felt good out there and uh, helped my defense out too. Once I saw uh, my strikes were going right there, my fastball was in control, and uh, when my fastball's there, my uh, curveball works with it. So that's why I know I'm good. This is huge. I mean, our whole town almost came, so having them behind us was awesome. Seeing them uh, erupt after every uh, a hit and run was amazing to see.